Hey guys, it's me again, and I hope you're all well and grinding through the semester, and today we're talking about whether or not you should study engineering if you're socially impaired, you know, a bit awkward. And there are three big things that I want to talk about in this video, but before we begin, I want you to know that I was that awkward kid. I used to get panic attacks in school whenever I had to be social, and I used to sit by myself all the time because I couldn't stand talking to anyone. I didn't even go to my school's graduation because I didn't want to spend a night being social. So I know exactly what it feels like and the three things I have to tell you will absolutely help you to not fear the social aspects of studying and bring you some clarity. Anyway, let's begin! Firstly, pretty much all engineering students are shy. I don't know what it is, but I didn't know one kid who liked public speaking and pretty much all of us would rather accept a fail for not doing it than actually stand up for five minutes and present something. And don't think that everyone becomes better at it as they progress through their degree, because they don't. You know, when I did my honours presentation right at the end of my degree, everyone presenting was stammering and looking at the floor and it was pathetic, but that's the normal archetype for engineering students. We're shy. And right now, you're probably surrounded by friends or peers who are confident, and in comparison, you feel like a loser. But when you're studying, you'll fit right in. Most students are like that. Next, guys, college isn't like school. You won't be condemned for not being popular or shy or even having no friends. You can go through your entire degree by talking to pretty much no one if you want to. Yes, it will ruin your chances at making networking opportunities, and yes, you wouldn't have as much fun, but... If you're shy, don't think that you'll be seen as a loser if you aren't hanging out with a group of friends. And most students like to solo the degree and do it alone. It's kind of cool. Also, you'd actually probably make friends because for the first time in your life, you'll be surrounded by exclusively like-minded people. Everyone there is into engineering, science and tech, and probably also gaming, programming and hentai. And there are very few places where you'll fit in so well. And yes, there is a chance that everyone in your year is a prick, but you can have nothing to do with them if you don't want to, and even become the mystic ace student who everyone envies and misunderstands. Finally guys, let's talk about presentations. Now the number of presentations you'll have to give varies between universities, but when I was studying, I only had to do five in total. And of those five, two were group presentations. So I got to cower out of sight behind my partners. And if you're worried about presentations, remember this, presenting is a skill. If you've spent no time developing it, you're bound to suck at it, so go watch some TED Talks and take notes about how they present while you're getting some free education. Also, the presentations are short, so you can just hold your breath and get through it. Everyone hates them, and even if you stammer every word while sweating profusely, while scratching your skin like a leper, while intermittently passing out, you'll fit right in. And guys, those are the best tips I can give you. If you're shy, don't think that it's a roadblock to studying or doing well at university or even enjoying studying. It really isn't a big deal and as soon as you start studying, you'll see that for yourself. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and before you go, I've had an awesome idea. Let's play a game together. And to begin with, let's play chess. And on screen right now are the simple instructions of how we'll play. You know, I'd really like to interact with you guys more, so please comment what move you'd like to make. And to begin with, I'll move d4. And as always, good luck out there.